I bought you a video yesterday where I basically said, where has all the news gone? Where's it all disappeared? We, we seem to be completely dominated by the situation in the Ukraine at the moment, and that's all you seem to see, wall-to-wall -wall coverage. But not only has the news disappeared, you have to wonder what effect it has up here for people when they read said news and what they believe and how they react. And I saw a story uh, probably about two days ago, which I didn't kind of pay much attention to at the time, but it's now trending news and I, I couldn't believe it. So here goes. I'll let you know what it is. <laughs> How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Monday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad myself. And uh, yeah, well, apart from it's the beginning of the week, isn't it? We we all need a bit of a laugh and a giggle. And uh, what better place to go than a comedy club? Or so uh, people thought. Well, there's an actual comedy club in uh, Blackpool called the uh, Comedy Station. I had to look then at the old screen. And they had a bit of a problem with a retired couple who booked a couple of tickets because uh, they, they wanted to travel from Hull to go and see a show. Well, it since turns out they've decided they don't want to anymore. Uh, they want a refund. The, the actual comedy club offered to change the dates, but they said, no, no, not doing it. We want a refund and actually got quite shirty. Do you know what excuse they used? The war. Uh, with Ukraine and Russia. They said it's no longer safe to travel because we don't know what's going on and we don't know how long it's going to go on for or what effect it would have. I mean, what I'll do now, I've got a copy of the letter they sent to the comedy club and you can see for yourself. Right, here goes. Uh, complaint for the manager. My husband had a trip planned to Blackpool this weekend and we have got tickets to your Saturday night laugh show at seven on the date above. It doesn't give the date, but obviously Saturday sometime. I spoke to someone called Rob, if that's even his real name, on Facebook text asking for a refund for our two tickets, which we paid in full a few weeks ago. Due to events in Russia and Ukraine, it's not safe for us to travel, as we are both retired. Due to this, it's safer that we stay nearer to home until everything's sorted out. I told Rob that we wanted a refund, and he said he'd move the tickets to another date. I do not want that, because I don't know how long this is going to go on for. No one knows. Well, she's right there. He shows me the so-called terms and conditions, which I did not read when I booked the tickets a few weeks ago, like nobody does, and nowhere in them does it say, no refunds for a war. As it's not in your so-called terms and conditions, I'm legally allowed a full refund, and I will be taking this to trading standards, if not refunded in 24 hours. I mean it, in big capital letters. We could not attend because of things beyond our control, so arrange a full refund for both tickets to be arranged on the debit card I used to buy them. We have already lost money on train tickets and our bed and breakfast booking. As they said, we uh, we have just chose not to go, but this is probably everyone in Blackpool sticking together to scam people during a war. Disgusting. You are supposed to be a comedy store, but this is not funny at all. Have some respect. My solicitor will be informed, and I will report you to trading standards if you don't pay me back within 24 hours. Yours regards. I don't know what you think about that, but I think it's a massive overreaction brought on by media bullshittery. They've obviously been scared into believing a version of events and think it's safer to stay at home. Or the other way of looking at it is they've decided they don't want to go, need an excuse to get their money black back and blame Vladimir Putin, whichever way you look at it. It's uh, unbelievable. Let me know what you think in the comments below of this. Uh, should they have their money back? Or is the comedy club in the right? And uh, be interesting to see your point of view. Anyway, I'm off. Doodaloo.